Thanks, Jackson. New at four, ice is starting to form on many of our area bodies of water. But just because ice is forming does not mean it's safe. News 9's Viana King joins us live with some important safety reminders. A lot of you are itching to ice fish, but the, D, but the DNR says it's a little too early, a little too soon, and getting on this ice can get a little dicey. Usually constant cold weather is the indicator that the ice can be frozen, but you cannot judge the strength or thickness of ice by the appearance. But when you do decide it's time to get on the ice, make sure you're doing everything you can to stay safe. You know, if you're going to be on the ice, you know, take a, take a flotation, you know, float coat. Basically, it's a jacket with a built-in uh, personal flotation device. Um, one of the other things folks can use take is what's called a spud bar. It's basically just a long bar with, uh, with kind of like a modified axe head on the end to tap the ice as they go. If you're curious about when is a good time, the DNR says you should ask local bait shops, fishing clubs, and resorts that serve winter anglers. And as always, when the ice is thick enough, make sure you dress appropriately and tell someone where you're going. In Wassa, Viana King, News 9, WOW.